Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make the house from the show Full House. If you enjoyed this tutorial and you're new around here, all I ask is that you please hit that subscription button and the little bell next to it. That'll ensure that you get all my stuff sent directly to your sub box. But without any further ado, let's get started. Now just before we begin building everybody, here are all of the materials that we are going to be using throughout the build. Please do make sure that you have access to all of those and enough of them as well. The amount of space required to make the build is a 42 by 19 block area. As you can see, this is represented by the large white rectangle on the ground, which you are more than welcome to make if you feel as though it may help you out. And that's it. Pause the video if you have to. Make sure that you got that stuff. Make sure you got enough room to make it. Make sure you're ready. And once you are, we can begin. Step one, my full house making friends. Come all the way over to the front right hand corner of your grid. If you've made the grid, count backwards from the corner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then left, one, two, three. This is where we're going to kick things off. Place four bricks on top of each other. One, two, three, four. Then place 12 white concrete on top of the bricks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Extend that 12th block also to the left by 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then extend that 12th block all the way down to the ground. This might take you a little bit of time. There we go. Once the block hits the ground, I want you to place a light grey concrete going right. I then want you to place a block of quartz and then three on top. One, two, three. Then place four quartz slabs going right of the upper quartz block. One, two, three, four. Stick a block of quartz on the end. Join it down to the ground. Place a light grey concrete right of the quartz that is on the ground. And then place a brick block to the right. So what we should have should look exactly like this ladies and gentlemen. And this is a great starting point. So, what we're going to do is first of all, we are going to make the staircase that will lead us up to the actual house itself. So the staircase, you want to extend this single brick that we last placed upwards so that it is as high as the row of bricks to the right. We want to extend each of these upper bricks forwards by three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Join them together using brick stairs like this. And then you slowly want to create a column of bricks that will allow us to place brick stairs coming all the way down to the ground. So if you can imagine, we have this first set and then we want to be able to place another set below and in front and another one and finally another one just like this. We're going to fill the sides of the staircase in using brick blocks just like this. So the left and right hand sides like so. And this is just going to give us a staircase. So there is a door all the way up at the top of the staircase and we need to be able to walk to it so we can fill the top of this in with bricks. We want to grab our white concrete and on the back corner of what we've just been making, we want to place four white concrete, one, two, three, four coming up from the ground. And then you want to join that white concrete to the right using a little bit of glass, kind of like this. We want to make the, it's kind of like an overhang, sort of like a little mini porch. It's made by placing one, two, three, four pillar quartz block, one, two, three, four pillar quartz block on the two front corners of this area. You join it all together using quartz slabs. You do that right at the top like this. And what we also want to do is we want to place a skirting of upside down quartz stairs directly on top and around the like the top of the porch kind of like this. To continue this, we are going to need andensite. I'll grab both kinds, the slab and the actual proper block. And we are going to place polished andensite just on top of this to kind of give a little bit of a texture to the roof. Just like that. 
I would also like to complete the door whilst we're here. So unfortunately, we are going to once again, we're just going to exchange out the ender site for one moment and grab red concrete and dark oak buttons. And we're going to fill in underneath the glass here that we place for the door. And you're going to put a door handle in the form of dark oak button, either on the middle left or the middle right. Where's the door handle? It's usually on the right, I guess, since most people are right-handed, majoritively. So that that's basically just like the door handle that one would grab and turn. So we can now chuck these away. I'm not sure if we'll ever need them again and we can grab the and sight once more. So there we go. We've kind of got a nice little bit of structure complete now. A little bit more structure that we can do is we can add the garage. So this quartz and quartz slab here is actually meant to be a garage. If you place sideways facing pillar quartz block behind the empty gap that is created using the actual quartz, then you will have a pretty decent looking garage door. But this isn't where the fun with the garage ends. You see, the garage actually is a good way to help us place the windows. So place a layer of place a layer of light grey concrete directly on top of the garage, like this. What I then want you to do is place a layer of block of quartz in front of the light grey concretes that are above the quartz slabs. One, two, three, four, just like that. That makes sense, right? I want you to extend the two middle blocks outwards and then place upside down quartz stairs in front of those two end block of quartz, like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to extend the back left and back right blocks of quartz upwards by three using glass. One, two, three. One, two, three. And we're going to extend the middle two upwards. One, two, three. So we have these very curvy bay windows, and that's what, exactly what we're trying to replicate here. You can place polished andensite on top of all of those glass, except you want to place andensite slab in the bottom corners on the left and right hand side like this. In addition to that, you can then place block of quartz on top of these slabs like this, and then you can place quartz slab in the top corners like so. What we then want to do is we want to place glass on top of all of these solid quartz blocks and we want to place three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. We then want to place once more block of quartz on top of this. We want to place quartz slabs on the bottom two, on the bottom two corners kind of like this. We then want to place light grey concrete on top of all of the blocks of quartz. And then we want to place a layer of white concrete on top of the light grey concrete like this. I want you to place upside down quartz stairs in the two crevices in the corners. And that's kind of how you make the bay windows. It's kind of tricky to make quite honestly, it's a hard thing to make in Minecraft. But I think that we've done a pretty decent job. So, in addition to those windows there, there is just simply one more window. The window is positioned behind the actual door area. So place a couple of rows, literally a couple, one, two rows of light grey concrete just behind the door here. And then on top of the right two blocks, we're going to place three glass. One, two, three. One, two, three, like this. And on the lower half of the glass, on the lower half of the lowest glass, we want to place quartz slabs extending outwards. And then if we place a bit more light grey concrete on top of the window, we want to place back-to-back -back quartz stairs poking out the top of the window. And that's pretty much all the detail there is for the front of the house in terms of windows and stuff. You can then proceed to fill the rest of the area in with light grey concrete. I would recommend filling it in from behind. It will make it a little bit easier to see where you've got to fill in. Um, I, I don't know whether it looks better to add light grey concrete behind these glass. So by these glass I mean these ones. But let's take, let's take a look right now. Let's see how that looks. That looks pretty good. I don't think it would be beneficial to add light grey concrete behind those glass. I think it is best to leave it. But you can see it's, it's quite a nice, uh, nice looking building really. In addition to these things, we want to add quartz stairs 
in the top left corner, top right corner of the house, and then you want to leave a gap of two and place another upside down quartz stairs. Now, I think that that's kind of just meant to be like support for the roof. Um, it just looks kind of cool to be honest. But now that we've done that, another thing that I would like to do whilst we have the material out is I would like to just create two little flower beds left and right of the garage. Now this is made out of polished and insight slabs and we extend the corners of the garage forwards. One, two, three, four, five, join that to the bricks. On the left side we don't have the luxury of the, uh, of the brick column, so one, two, three, four, five, extend across by two, and then backwards. And what that will allow us to do is place some, uh, some nice grass and stuff a little bit later on. What we now have to do is establish the sides of the house. It's actually not that hard. So what we're going to do is take the entire sides of the house, left and right, and we're going to place 13 rows of light grey concrete, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, with a row of white concrete on the end. So, if you can use your imagination for just a moment, we place 13 rows of light grey, followed by that one row of white, and we want to basically make the sides of the house like this. Now, I couldn't find much info on the sides of the house. I did a lot of research for this house, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of research, and apparently there has been a couple of changes to the house, but I've, I've had to take those in my stride. And I could not figure out whether there were any windows or any additional details on the side of the house. I'm not sure that there would be, because these are, they're sort of town houses, in a way. And if you have, like, loads of windows on the side of the house, you're going to be looking directly at your neighbour if they're stood in their window. So th there may be, there may not be, but if you know a little bit more info about the house, then do feel free, of course, to um, to add any, any details that you know to exist. Um... You know, if you've watched if you've watched the show, then of course you're going to be way more knowledgeable than me, who has just spent you know a lot of time just trying to research through images and videos and stuff. So add any details that you know to be missing, and uh, and we should be good. But I've I've done the absolute best that I can, and I think that I've managed to do quite uh, quite well. I even managed to find the actual full house house. It went up for sale at a certain point, apparently. And I actually managed to find the full, uh, the actual house and like what it really, really looks like, d despite the fact that it was like used um, in the actual like show. But I managed to find like um, like backyard pictures and stuff, and it's it's not as interesting as you might think. So I've uh, I've had to take a few liberties with this. So this is what we want to have for the sides of the house on the left and the right. What we now have to do is kind of like seal up the back of the house in in a way and uh, we just have to add some additional detail. So the, the best thing that we can literally do is we can just seal up the back of the house like using light grey concrete. Again, I couldn't find many details about the back of the house. All I know is that there is a porch. I know that there is a porch back here, so we, we have a porch, and I added a couple of windows up at the top of the house, because I figured that you'd have a few windows, or a couple of windows, um, just kind of like showing across the back garden, but it's actually kind of like a, it actually is kind of contradictory in its shape and its style a little bit on the back of the house, but um, again, I've done the best that I can here. This is what we have on the back of the house right now. What I'm now going to recommend that you do is come down to the bottom left and bottom right hand corners at the back of the house. I want you to place two light grey concretes extending... Let me, let me, let me scratch that actually. I want you to place three light grey concretes extending forwards from these light grey concretes, like one, two, three, and one, two, three. I want you to place a block of quartz here on the ends extending outwards diagonally. I want you to extend those blocks of quartz upwards by three, one, two, three, and then one, two, three, like this. We're going to join these light grey concretes together. On this right side here, we're going to leave a gap of two, and then we're going to place another row of one, two, three, four block of quartz. We're going to join these middle pair of block of quartz together, and we're also going to join it to the house as well. We also want to join the right side front to back to the house. We want to place blocks of quartz on the front left corner, on this inward corner and the front right hand corner of the house. 
and we're going to place quartz slabs joining all of the all of these parts together except for this little middle two gap because that is where a staircase is going to go and what you can then do is you can kind of just fill in underneath this little porch area using light grey concrete. You don't want to do too much, you only want to add about two rows of light grey concrete on top um, because we're going to have some bricks here. So probably about as much as that. You can actually now grab yourself the bricks and the stairs so that we can actually fill this in a bit more. So the bricks are going to be placed like directly where the blocks of quartz are. This is where all of the bricks are going to go. We're going to then have a set of brick stairs that kind of like leads down onto the back garden like this. I don't know whether this is actually how it is, ladies and gentlemen, as I mentioned. There's not you, you cannot see the entire house, unfortunately. I wish there was like a virtual view of the thing that I could actually take a look at so I could get perfectly right, but... Um, what we also have to do is, of course, add a couple of doors, so the doors are actually going to be parallel to the stairs. Um, you could add a couple of windows, so the doors, we could add some, like, glass above them, and then that would allow us to place a couple of windows if you wanted to, or perhaps we could have, like, one large window, probably about three or so blocks wide like this, and you could just have a, uh, a little bit of a window here, and then perhaps some quartz slab just underneath it. What we also want to do is we want to create the actual porch overhang, so that's going to be made using brick, uh, stone brick wall. We're going to place it on these two end corners of the porch. We're going to place one and two, and we're going to place one and two, just like this. We want to grab our block of andensite and our andensite slab, and we're going to place um, solid, proper, just full-on andensite blocks on top of the ends of the porch extend the bottom forwards using a row of andensite slabs and then we're going to extend the top of the porch up and backwards until it hits the house kind of like this right and then what you'll be able to do is there will be a single andensite block here that you can extend and then we want to extend and we want to place all of these andensite slabs just kind of like extending across the back of the house kind of like this that's not looking too bad uh, in addition to this, we're going to add a couple of windows. They're actually going to be the same as the windows on the front. When I say windows on the front, you know that small window? We're going to make that one just on the back. And um, you could even bring it in a row when it comes to the back. So let's say like the same style as that window. We want it in the same position. That's, that's why I've kind of like broken into the house. We literally want it in the same position. And uh, yeah, we'll bring the windows in a row on the back. Because again, these, these are somewhat made up. I, I can only anticipate that there are windows on the back. But I, I haven't seen them. And uh, I, can, I can only assume that they're there. But we can make them in the same way. We can place quartz slabs underneath them. And we can place quartz quartz stairs back to back together above the window like this and uh, that doesn't look too bad I mean the back of the house looks all right like this um, we do have doors as well so the doors uh, I figured that they'd probably be white so because it kind of just goes with the rest of the house so some iron doors like this and that is looking rather good now we have a roof the roof is uh, relatively simple to make to, uh, to be quite honest, it is quite easy. So we're going to grab our polished and insight slabs here, and we're going to place a row of polished and insight slabs that sit on top of these quartz stairs that we have on the front of the house. It's going to go left to right, and it's going to overhang the side of the house like this. Now, we also want to have those upside down quartz stairs on the back of the house like we do the front. So what we're going to do is we're going to place quartz stairs just on the ends here. And then we're going to leave gaps of two and then we're going to just have um, just another set of stairs. And then we can even have one in the middle. And then that will allow us to place the polished andensite slabs just on top. We can have the andensite slabs overhang. And then we want to, and this is dead easy, we want to extend the andensite slabs inwards and upwards until eventually they will meet in the middle on both sides. So like on the left and right hand sides here, they will eventually reach and, uh, reach and meet each other in the middle. So if you kind of just work on that from both sides like this, that's perfect, then you'll be able to make the roof. And it's, it's really, really easy. 
if you start off by simply oh and we'll do the same on this side as well we'll make the same pattern then we'll then we'll just join it in the middle we'll make the little light gray underneath and then we'll just extend both sides together it's it's much easier you don't have to count this whatsoever this is what i love about this sort of roof is you can just kind of like do what do a bit of one side do a bit of the other side and then eventually it will just meet like that we're going to fill underneath the roof in using light grey concrete on both sides. Um, you'll find that you, you just have to place rows that are about two rows shorter than each other on both sides like this. So um, you just want to fill in the gaps. You don't want to place them, say, here where the solid and inside blocks are because then you won't be able to extend the roof across properly. So just kind of like this and that will, from the side, look like that, which is a great effect. That's exactly what we're after. Um, I'd recommend extending the and inside blocks, the full blocks, across both sides, left to right, join them together first, and then extend the and inside slabs um, after the fact. So uh, it'll just make it easier. If you've got the solid blocks to work with, you can actually just place these slabs in front of the lower half of the solid blocks, kind of like this, right? And uh, it just makes it dead easy. Um, it's my favorite kind of roof to make, by the way. I'm sure that you guys might have figured it out. I've been using this a lot. I really like this roof. Um, I like it a lot more than the stairs. I feel as though it's a little bit more versatile. I feel as though it's easier to make. It feels better to place. I don't know. I, d I do quite like uh, the style of the roof, but feel free to use solid um, and it's like stairs if you like. The only thing that we've got to do is on the front of the uh, of, of the roof, you know that we have this bay window here. So if you want, you can just place a little bit of andensite slabs just sitting on top of the bay window. You can have these slabs overhang the entire bay window like this. You can add like a row kind of like going all the way around. And then you've just kind of got to logically extend up the sides of the little mini roof here. You just got to extend up the middle as uh, and just have it like joined to the actual middle part of the roof. It is quite logical, really. I think that you'll be you'll be able to manage that no problem. Once you've done that, we've done the front and we have done essentially the back as well. All we have to do is add in some gates and some walls and uh, a little bit of garden. So, the way that the walls work here, they actually start one row into the house. So, if the house starts where we have this row of white concrete, the wall, the fence, starts here, coming out the side, one row backwards, and it's five rows high. One, two, three, four, five. It's three rows wide, so that's one, two, three. Just make it as high like this. We stick some quartz slabs on the end, and we do the same to the other side, by the way. So, on the other side, this is where the white concrete, concrete is, so we move back one, two, three, four, five, like this, and we extend across by two rows, and we place quartz slabs on top of the light grey. We then extend the light grey wall backwards until um, until it pretty much reaches the end of the porch area. It's, it's kind of about here, really. So where the quartz blocks are, that's about as far back as we really want to extend the wall. The, yeah, we, we don't really extend it any further back than that. And the wall remains constant. It is as high as it always was, extending backwards. It is the exact same shape, size, all of that. It's the exact same, extending all the way back. We, we extend it to the same part um, as you did on the front, just here. And this will actually help us out quite a bit. And once you've done that, perfect. So once you've done that, it kind of gives a bit more of a context to the back of the garden. And what I mean by that is it allows us to place some more stuff. So on the back of the garden, here's the sort of things that we're going to need. Oakwood planks, smooth stone. We're going to need some leaves. We're going to need bone meal and maybe even some saplings. Maybe even some more stuff too. So I want to create a back fence to the house. It's going to be made out of two rows of oak planks and I'm going to place some oak planks extending backwards and I'm going to have it sit on the back portion of the grid. You can kind of eyeball it for yourself if you haven't made the grid. Kind of extend it back about as, as far as you want to go. And again, the garden was hard to find. I actually found the real garden. I'm, I suspect that they didn't use the actual real garden for the real version of the house for the show house, if that makes sense but um i i found the actual proper the actual 
proper version of the garden, what it actually does look like for the house um, that they may or may not have used for the set. And it's, it's quite simple on the back. So what we're going to do is we're going to dig two rows in front of the brick stairs here. And we're going to half the garden. The half closer to the house and the porch is going to uh, be refloored. And I'm going to use smooth stone and I'm going to fill it all in. So I'm going to rip all this grass in. Uh, I'm just going to fill it in. So I, I feel as though what I said might be confusing. I couldn't quite find what the show would use for the set back garden because it seems to be quite big. It seems to be like rather large, huge patch of grass. But when I found the garden for the actual, like, the actual house that they did use as a set, but sometimes they use, like, different, they use, like, different things. So, like, just because the garden in the show is, is a particular way doesn't mean that the house that they, they use for, like, the outside, uh, like, outside shots and maybe even, like, certain rooms of the house, it doesn't mean that it belongs to the same house. If you, uh, if you get what I mean. So I've, I've used what I could find is basically what I'm trying to say. Uh, which is something I find really, really hard and also frustrating about these kinds of builds. Like, I love making these things. It's actually really, really fun to do a lot of a de a detective work and try and find out how things look. But sometimes it's frustrating when you can't quite find what you're looking for. So now that we have all of the smooth stone, we're going to place a... Probably some oak leaves all the way around the, uh, around the back uh, fence part of this house. And we're going to stick a tree in the back garden. We're going to bone meal it, and then we're just going to uh, we're just going to add some flowers and stuff. And that's pretty much all that we're going to do to the back. And that's the back complete, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go all the way to the front of the house now, and we want to basically. Well, first, actually, let's do this. On the front of the house, we'll need some flower pots, dead bush, and some lime terracotta in addition to what we have already. On the right side, the flower bed here in the corner is a large tree. We're just going to place lime terracotta until it's just one row higher than the bricks that is to the right of it. On the left side, we have kind of like this potted plant, so we're going to place a flower pot, dead bush inside, and then two oak leaves on top. Um, we need some azure bluettes, or however that is pronounced, and we're going to fill the rest of these little flower beds in with those flowers. Then the rest of this can actually just be dug out and replaced using smooth stone. And that's it, because the house is essentially on the street. Again, it seems to be like some sort of townhouse or, or something similar to that. Oh, and there is one actual small feature that I am forgetting. I'm glad that I just remembered. One very, very small feature, but we, we won't be, we won't be uh, neglecting it. But yeah, it, it seems to be like go straight onto a street. I'm not sure which city or town or wherever um, Full House is actually supposed to be, but it seems like it could be quite like a little busy part like New York or something. And um, it's, uh, yeah, as a result of that, like uh, probably not New York actually, because there's a garage. So <laughs> that, unless maybe it's like on the outskirts or something. That, uh, that probably wouldn't make any sense. I'm actually going to look that up after this. I'm kind of curious. Um, but the small little detail that we're missing is there are some railings on uh, on the like the brick area here. And that's basically just made out of dark oak fence. That was the best colour match that I could find. And the dark oak fence basically just sits on the outside of these bricks here. And, and that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's actually the house. Now, this, ladies and gentlemen, is what the full house will look like once it has been 100% fully completed. I do hope that you guys have managed to make this along with me, and I hope that you're quite happy with the results. And of course, do add the additional details that you may know about that I don't where necessary. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. If you're new around here, please do consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the little bell next to the subscription button. That would ensure that you get all my stuff sent directly to your sub box. If you do want to make any more fun or cartoon related builds, check out the card system and the description below for all of those fun things. I have cartoon builds and TV series builds and movie builds and video game builds, all sorts of stuff. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I love you all very, very much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!